on, I'm on calm. A bottle of Jack at my lips and a Guinness I'll be in one arm. Bass hell in the other. Makes a nice black and tan, but I still yeah, fail to recover. I hit step six. Am I trying to throw it? No, it's just gonna be another little quick take on a shaving product. I told you there'd be a bunch of these coming up and doing it. Um, and so this one is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. You know, you guys who watch my channel a lot know that Phoenix Artisan has sent me a ridiculous amount of stuff um to to, to review and, and really just out of the goodness of, of um doug who, who's the owner's heart and um i, I love phoenix artists and accoutrements as, as a product and as a, as a company so i was in pastor one day you guys might not know pastor is a is a drugstore in new york city they have, they have two locations and they're sort of like the lucky set of um of shaving shaving stores you know like they just have so many different brands santa maria novella uh truffin and hill trumper the three t's of course dr harris um uh if you can think of it the cheaper stuff like arco uh if you can think of it in its shaving stuff mitchell's wool fat castle forbes they have it they also have like a lot of male grooming products they have some higher end brands like lab series art of shaving they also sell um razors safety razors cutthroat razors and expensive shaving brushes and cheaper shaving brushes and scuttles i mean they have everything so i i'm pretty sure the first indie house that they really took in was razor rock because I, I learned about razor rock by going to pastor and i was there a couple weeks ago um months ago actually probably as of you're seeing this and i saw that they had not only phoenix artisan but um but tiki as well so i was just really happy that you know these these excellent indie house indie shaving houses got into past door and so when i saw uh phoenix i just had to buy buy some stuff um and so we'll talk about some of that stuff in the future but i had never i had never tried one of their shaving soaps and the one that really spoke to me when i was there is this one uh this one is called speakeasy i love the the art on this you could see it was 10.99 uh and so i'll just talk about it real quick but first i'll just give you the description from the phoenix website speakeasy a classic cologne smell that is reminiscent of a bygone era the scent does not smell like any kind of libation or spirit but rather a mood think the great gatsby the notes are rose sage bergamot citrus wood amber and then it says phoenix Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Shaving Soap is a handmade, hot process, vegan shaving soap produced in small batches. We took the time developing this special soap to perform a great uh, and produce a thick, rich lather, lather, to perform great and produce a thick, rich lather, which will make shaving a true pleasure. The rest is up to you. Enjoy this very special, long-lasting soap puck. I want to thank you for giving us a shot. would love to hear what you have to say. Happy shaving. So, um first of all i love the fact that they're vegan i mean i don't talk about it on here but i'm just a really big animal guy um you know i've, I've had dogs my entire life i just love animals sometimes people say you, you like animals more than people and i think that's uh true to a point but uh it's a real easy trick to throw tallow into your shaving soap to make it softer um, and, and make it moisturize more. So I, I really respect the fact that, that Doug did this vegan. Um, and so I'll just show you, this is actually um, a little bit of a harder soap than a lot of the, the croak styles that are coming out there. It's not quite a puck. Uh, it's close though. It's just a really hard, uh, I used it not too long ago. Uh, you know, my only beef I think would be is that, you know, if you have a large broth, it makes low a little bit messy but you know that's that's part of the game that's that's not a, a huge problem uh, I really like the tin and the design uh, as far as what this smells like I'll be honest with you guys to me this smells like Fahrenheit a little bit the, the cologne Fahrenheit which is one of my favorite actually is my favorite um, fragrance of all time certainly my favorite designer uh, fragrance Fahrenheit by Christian Dior it has this sort of leathery uh, sweetness to it. I, I definitely get the, the bergamot and the citrus and, and the rose in there. It's, it's really beautiful. Uh, and it just performs beastly as well. Great lather, uh, slick, uh, cushioning. Uh, left my face feeling great. 
uh, after I used it. So guys, I would really recommend taking a look at, Fe you know, Phoenix gets all the love, I feel like for, and this this could be just me, because I, I come from the fragrance world, but Phoenix, I feel like, uh, gets a lot of love for their, their aftershaves, which I've said, really blur the line between aftershave and, and niche cologne. Uh, or each perfume, however you look at it, but uh, they do, they're doing they're doing other things too. And these soaps are this at least this soap is great. So take a look at it. Um, it's ten ninety nine, or at least it was ten ninety nine at Pasteur. Uh, this is a puck that for ten ninety nine is going to last you forever. If you shave every day, I think you know you could get like a year out of one of these pucks. So I probably have enough shaving stuff to to let my son use when he starts shaving. I don't even have a child. I'm not even mad. Married. So that just goes to show you how how um, how much I've gotten. But still, I'm always going to support my my, my dudes. Um, Doug's my dude. Joe is my dude. Amanda's my do that. Uh, soap commander. You know, if I see these products, I'm I'm going to get them because I think these people are doing a really exciting um, exciting things for for wet shaving. I love the fact that these indie houses have broken into that space that was reserved really for these these big older companies out of out of out of Europe but I think that's awesome so uh, check this one out and we'll be back looking soon at some more stuff from Phoenix and Razor Rock if you have any questions I'd be more than happy to to answer them and uh, see you this weekend with the review guys you know what it is my name is around from the others daydreaming of a damsel with grain alcohol wet lips so for breakfast for breakfast I'll count it as the juice from that food group and mark it off the checklist